Hi there. In today's tutorial, we're going to look at the different types of rainfall that you can have. Remember, guys, to check out our website, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please leave us as much feedback as on YouTube on our YouTube channel as possible, and follow us on Instagram and and Twitter. So we're going to look at the the different types of rainfall, and you've got three different types of rainfall. Okay, so the first one you have, first one you have, is relief rainfall. So relief rainfall. The second type of rainfall that you can get is convectional rainfall. And the third type of rainfall that you can get is called frontal rainfall. Okay, for your junior certificate examination, uh, you need to know these three different types of rainfall and how they actually, the formation of these three different types of rainfall. These are quite important because they come up uh, quite a lot in the junior certificate examination and we're, we're going we're gonna to go through each of them now. Okay, so the first one we're going to look at is called relief rainfall. So how does relief ra rainfall happen? Well, what happens is you have warm air and when the warm air is traveling along, it meets um, maybe a mountain or quite a uh, high facing slope. And what happens to the warm air is it has to rise up. So the warm air has no choice but to actually go up. So the warm air rises up. And what happens then when it starts to rise is it cools, condenses and forms water droplets. These water droplets collate together to form a cloud. And then you will get some precipitation. Precipitation will happen usually um, on the, the windward side of the mountain and you'll get some rain shadow on the far side. Okay, the second one we're going to look at, second type of rainfall is convectional rainfall. And I'm going to explain to you how convectional rainfall happens. Convectional rainfall firstly usually happens in very warm countries because it needs um, the sun's rays to heat the earth's surface. So in really hot countries, you will get strong um, sunshine, which will be able to heat the Earth's surface, and that will cause the warm air to rise up. As the warm air rises up, it, it will cool, condense, and the water vapour will turn into water droplets. These water droplets will collate together to form clouds, and then you'll get a period of very, very heavy rainfall. Sometimes this can cause thunderstorms. That's if the air rises very quickly. It can form um, huge clouds which can turn into a thunderstorm. So the last one is frontal rainfall. Fall. And frontal rainfall gets its name from front. Okay, so we looked at fronts in previous videos. And a front is when two air masses meet each other. So what you have here is, you have this line here. Just highlight this line for you. So this line here is the front. Okay, and what is happening is, it's when two air masses meet, so you've got, you got the warm air here and you've got the cold air here, so this area here is the front, and what happens is, because uh, warm air and cold air don't, don't mix well, the lighter air, which is the warmer, is forced to rise up. As it rises up, it cools, condenses, the water vapour turns to water droplets, these collate, and what you'll get is, you'll get some clouds and some rain. Okay, so that's it for the three types of rainfalls. You've got relief, which is here. You've got convectional, and you've got the frontal. Just one thing to note. Uh, ascending and descending air create different weather patterns, okay? And if you would like to look at the different weather patterns that ascending air, so air that is rising uh, up, creates, and air that's descending, that's rising down, please look at my other videos on anticyclones and depressions as I explain anticyclones and depressions. Just, to, just really quickly though, uh, ascending air is when, you, is when low pressure rises up and that creates a depression and descending air is when high pressure uh, falls down so descends and actually creates an area of high pressure which is an anticyclone. So that's it for today's tutorial. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video tutorial and learned lots from it. 
Can you please uh, leave me some feedback? I've been getting some great feedback on the YouTube channel, but I would obviously love uh, if more people gave me some feedback. If you write in the comments, if you enjoyed the video, or maybe things that you would like me to see in the future. Because I do uh, take all your advice on board, and I do change the videos. If you'd like more pictures in the videos, more more summaries, or whatever it might be, just please leave me some feedback, and I can try to cater to your needs. Uh, and remember to follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Thanks, guys.